Today I'm going to talk about mantle focus, specifically more for sporting clays. So when we're on the course, we do not need to stay focused for all 100 targets the whole day. We only need to stay focused for those 100 targets right before and through the shots. Once we're out of the station and we're moving from station to station, we need to relax. We don't want to worry about the last station. That one doesn't matter. We want to think about the next station. Okay, I'm going to station four now. Okay, where's station four? Get to station four. Then we go, all right, I'm fourth one up. Got the cage right there. Now, oh, look, uh, we have a Shondell coming over here. Or, you know, we have a crosser going this way. That's it. That's all we need to know. Oh, so it's coming across. So this is the first one. This is the second one. Great. Now, I know where they're coming from, so I have an idea where to look. Uh, I know where they're going. And then right before we get up there, so it's, I'm say, I'm on deck. I'm the next one up. Then I'm like, okay, where do I want to break this target? So I'll pick my break point, pick my focal point, break point. I'm doing... I'm doing that at that point. Before then, just watching a few targets. Then when my turn comes up, all right, now I run through my pre-shot routine. How exactly am I going to break this one? How exactly I fine-tune it? Shoot my pairs. If I make a mistake, make a correction. Then once I'm done with that station, I'll watch targets for my squad mates to see if I see a chip, but that's it. I'm not trying to do hard focus on the targets. You don't want hard focus on the targets when you're out of the cage. You want to just relax. You move on to the next station. You wipe this one clean. Now we're starting all over again. Go to the next station. All right, where the, what are the targets kind of doing? Where are they coming from? Just kind of get an idea. But we're relaxed. If some people need to sing a song to themselves, make a joke. Um, I like to just relax, hang back. I don't talk a whole lot, but I just I just want to relax and enjoy the day. Whether I'm doing well or I'm doing poorly. Because if I do bad on a station, the next station, I'm going, oh, I can just run that one. If you are trying to stay fully focused like you're in the cage from station to station, you're going to drive yourself absolutely nuts. I've seen shooters like that and it looks like they're about to have a heart attack. Oh, you know, I missed those targets and they're talking about their misses. They're talking about problems. Once you're gone from a station, it's gone. Don't worry about it. Make a mental note. Okay, I need to work on Shondells or I need to work on hard quartering targets. Great. Next station, same thing. It's a whole new. So the one way to look at it is it's not on a 14 station course. It's not a hundred target event. It's 14 separate little events. So that way, when you're done with one, station one, that one's done. That tournament's over. Now we're going to station two. Now we start, we start new. We're fresh. We have no score on station two. Now we shoot station two. Okay, we're done with that one. We ran it, we missed a couple, doesn't matter. Now it's just station three. That's the only one that kind of matters. We And we want to learn how to relax in between stations, let bad shots go, focus in on good stuff, enjoy your time out there. I hope this helps you break more targets. Check out my website, deanblanchard.com. Contact me for lessons. Thanks.